in this video I'm going to show you how to um, add a tracking ID and like track your shipping for, for, a, um, for a customer. So this is a bigger account we have here. I'm just going to show you a couple of things of this here. So this is what an active one looks like. So let's say on the 24th of December, we've done $1,700 in sales. Um, when I go through here, you know, there's, there's days we've done $4,000 on the 28th. So as you can see, it's pretty consistent in sales, well over, you know, a few hundred dollars a day, um, you know, ranges up to $4,000, up to $1,700 a day. But what we want to do is we want to talk about your shipping side of things. So if we come over here to list um, orders, shipments, this will have all your shipping and stuff like that. At the moment, there's not too much shipment going on in here because it's over the Christmas period. But let's say these are all my shipping, all my shipping details as we look in here. So for an example, right, if I come through here and I want to track somebody, let's say John Clark, perfect, right in the middle. John Clark sends me an email saying, I haven't received anything yet. Could we have a look? View details. I can see here that it was posted on the 24th of July and it del was delivered to him on the 29th of July. So that is from Supply Alibaba Express. It was um, pre-transit, in transit, picked up and delivered. So as you can see there for an example, right, that these people saying, hey, um, you know, Alibaba Express takes so long to be delivered, you know, why, blah, 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 blah. But if you don't have the right, you know, if you don't have the right supplies, you don't go through everything we talk about, you're gonna have problems. But as you can see here, this was ordered on the 27th of 24th of July and ordered, um, delivered inside of America on in, within five business days, five days, so quick. So what you wanna do is once you get the tracking ID from your supplier, okay, so you can see here, this is the tracking ID. This is with TrackDog. It's called TrackDog. Don't worry about using TrackDog. It was delivered within five days. But what you want to do here is you want to come across here. Even if I go to, let's say, Australia Post or wherever you're going, it's going to show you where, where it's going. So what I'm going to do here now is there's a tracking ID. There's the order number. There's the AliExpress details. And this is for John, John Clark. So for an example, this is not what you would do, but let's say if this was John Clark's order, you'd come through here, mark is fulfilled, tracking ID I'd post in here, and then it's already made China Post, and I'd press fulfill item. So what, I can, what your customer can do now, they've just got an email from you saying that your tracking ID has been sent, okay? And there's the tracking ID. So for an example, your customer will receive a tracking ID so they can click on, you know, track China Post, okay? And you can put in the tracking ID here of what it is. And you'll see here that I can track, the customer can track this down to a T. So it's very simple for them to do. It's very easy for them to do. But the main thing about it is it's tracked, it's ready to go for your customer and they will have tracking and you can always come back to your supplier. So you can see here that I can look at all my tracking IDs. There's tons of them. Very easy to do. Very, you know, very basic to do. Okay, so that's how you track an ID um, and upload and some details. So again, how we would do that is that once we get an order, we do the order with Alibaba Express. We just paid it in the last video. So we fulfilled the order. We paid the order. Okay, so we paid for it. Now let's say the tracking ID has come back to us and said, hey, the tracking ID is available now. It will automatically do this for you, but if you want to update it before it does it, you know, with every two hours, it might take 24 hours to 48 hours for to get the tracking ID number from Alibaba Express. Find the order, come into, um, let's say, John Clark for an example, view the details, take the tracking ID from here, copy it, and then literally come back to your order here to Shopify. Press mark is fulfilled. Paste it into there. Keep in mind, guys, keep in mind, if you are doing an order, let's say for Australia here, we can track this with Australian Post. So if I go to Google, instead of coming up China Post, Australia Post tracking, I can track a Chinese Post, Post like tracking ID through Australia Post. This one is an old one, it might not work. See, it says it's your delivery. It's pending. But the main thing is, it's international tracking ID. They can track it on the Australian Post app. So what I would do here, instead of when I put it in here, 
I put that tracking ID instead of Australian for um, showing Chinese posts. I'm going to do Australia post for Phil Item. Once I press for Phil Item, what will happen? I'm just going to pause this really. So what will happen now is that they can track that with Australia post and it's going to go to the Australia post tracking and it's going to give all the tracking ID with all the information saying that it's on the way and stuff like that. Okay. That's how you track an ID track with an order from your supplier directly to your customer. Very easy to do. And then you can always view the details on if it's been delivered or not. So you can always come back into your orders, shipments, come into here, and then you can have a look at all your shipments. Okay, so you can go to dates, um, you can have a look, custom, all that type of stuff. But you can come through here and you can check all of your shipping IDs and you can always come back and actually go in and have a look at your tracking IDs at all stages through here. Again, tracking ID numbers there, go into Shopify, find the order ID, Find it, click for fill or more, edit tracking, come through here, add the tracking number, put Australia Post, send notification email to customer, save. It will get an email from the fishing store. Hi Dylan, your package is on the way. Here's your tracking ID attached for your tracking information. Thank you. Bam. The good thing is now your customer's not going to email you, hey, where's the tracking ID, where's the tracking ID, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's all done. And then you can even come back through here and have a look at the tracking. I can guarantee your first probably 20 or 30 orders, you'll sit here and you'll track it day by day, day by day. But look, when you've got a big store doing hundreds of hundreds of orders a month, you won't track anything anymore. The only thing you'll ever do at any stage is that if somebody has a problem saying they haven't delivered something, you come back into your shipments here and then you'll go through, find the person's name and their details to go through and upload all that information. Okay. All right, guys, that is all the information for how to upload a tracking ID through Shopmaster. Uh, the next video, press save and connect. Bye.